guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm actually shooting this intro at the end of my day. I didn't expect to catch anything today, I just wanted to get out and have some fun on the water, but I actually caught something pretty amazing, which you guys will see in this video. But first, I just wanted to give you an explanation why I haven't been fishing lately. My husband and I are currently building a house, that's right, Dennis and me, building the house by ourselves. No tradies helping us. We are standing up a steel frame house all by ourselves. Anyway, so we have a time limit on this house. We have to get it done by February and it's now November. So we've only got a few more months to get this house completed and submitted to council. So that's why I haven't been fishing and I just wanted to give you guys that quick explanation. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I will have more videos coming up when I get time to fish. So don't unsubscribe, please. Just hang in there. I will be back. So 2021 will hopefully be the year of me fishing again. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I'd love to do some traveling around Australia and do a lot more fishing. So stay tuned. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and enjoy the video. Bye guys. Thanks for being here. I didn't really want that anyway. It was a tailor. Plastic's still pretty good. So I've just hit this bank here. Changed lures from a uh, dark brown to this nice little green one that I've just been using. And had one flathead hit. And he got off because I was playing with the camera trying to get it to record. So I think I'll just um, cast up on the bank a little bit more. Glad that tailor got off though. It's like a good flatty. Oh my god, that's a good flathead. Wow. Okay. Please don't spit it. What a monster. guys this is going to be a little bit of a challenge getting him in the net get his head up here nice and cool in the boat. Monster, monster. That's what I'm talking about. You guys, that's awesome. Gonna leave it there for a moment. Just chill out, buddy. Get my measuring. Monster flatty. What a bucket face. Is 
That's exciting. Woo! That's a good fish. Didn't even let it get have a good fight. I think I've only got 15 pound on that line. 15 pound leader. Now, stay there. Flick towards me. Thank you, Flatty. Get rid of this. Beautiful fish. I'm just going to put it back in the water for a second. Oh, wow. What a beautiful fish. Settle down, buddy. It's all right. It's okay. This has got to be up near the 60, 70 centimeter mark. Fingers crossed. I'm not real good at guessing. Just um, tides going out, so the water's pumping through our gills. Just give her a little breather for a second. Oh, I was just thinking, oh, I never change lures, you know. I always use the same one. And I went back to using my little uh, midnight oil lure. Just a really, really nice lure, just like a three inch one. Pass it up onto the weed bank there and I was just pumping it back over the weed beds, nice and sandy. Truly, I wasn't expecting a fish like this, but it is the perfect little location for it. Just let this boat go past and get her out and show you. Wow, what a slab. Oh, I really wanted some fish for dinner, but I can't, I can't kill this fish. It's too amazing. That is a, that's just a beautiful fish. Let's put her on the mat. centimeters I think that's my PB guys that is a wicked fish I don't know if you can see her there she's just tipping over the 70 centimeter mark oh, I really want fish for dinner but I can't kill this one it's too beautiful that is amazing Simply stunning, one of my most favorite fish to catch in the estuaries. I don't really target much other things, but flathead are beautiful. Oh. I'm like 80% want to put it back, 20% want to eat it because I haven't had fish in months. Ah, uh, what do I do? I can't kill a fish like this. One more picture for the camera and I'll let it go, eh? Oh, she's so beautiful. Now I wanna get a picture of her swimming off for you guys, so I might have to move the camera around. I know what this jet ski's doing, he's looking at me. Oh, she's so pretty. Go away, jet ski. Sticky beak. All right, one more picture. There she is. Beautiful flathead. Absolutely amazing. Very, very stoked. Simply stunning. 
Happy chickadee. Very, very happy. So there she is. Ah, oh, she's so beautiful. Look at the head on that thing. Look at my hand. That is a massive head. She's quite happy. Should we let her go? Ready? There we go, beautiful. Oh, yes, you go that way. And I'm gonna cast back up there. That's where I caught that fish. I had one hit and didn't strike hard enough and it got off. It didn't feel that big. But um, yeah, I had that one hit, got off. And then I caught that tailor, which you didn't see because it dropped the lure next to the boat. And then I cast up there again, hoping for another fish. And it produced. Ah, oh, that's magnificent, guys. I'm so, so happy. 70 centimeter dusky flathead here in the estuary system off the Gold Coast. What a feeling when I haven't been out fishing for months. That's what my dreams are made of. But now I have to catch food for dinner because like I said, I haven't had fish in a long time. And flathead are one of my favorite fish to eat. So there's plenty more country here to cast at. So let's get onto it.
that's me signing out guys. I uh, just got that one big flathead today, which I'm pretty happy with. Haven't had a bump anywhere else, which is a bit sad. I mean, it looks so pretty out here today and I'm really enjoying it, but I know that wind's about to really bump up. So it's time to get home and get stuck into this house build that we're doing, which is why I haven't been fishing. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that like if you like this episode and like that big flatty I got. Um, stay tuned because I will keep fishing. This channel hasn't died. I still love you guys for supporting me and I'll see you very soon. Bye!